Hey guys, what's up? It's Vince here, and today we're back at it again with another YouTube video. Today's video is a little bit different, as um, I did realize looking through my old Rank 30 videos, uh, sorry about the cut right there, uh, there was uh, an issue with uh, some spam DMs, but either way, uh, as I was saying, uh, as I was looking through my Rank 30 videos, I realized that I actually never posted one for my Rank 30 8-bit. So uh, I'm going to be giving you guys all my tips in this video. Uh, this is just uh, me playing with some randoms that uh, were not that great, to be honest. Uh, either way, so let's get right into it. First with 8-bit, what you want to do, you want to play him in 3v3 modes now because he doesn't have his extra life star power anymore. So he's not really that great in showdown anymore uh, because of his uh, low movement speed uh, without the turret, of course. So you he just struggles a lot to stay alive. Um, but anyway, so I'd play him more in gem grab brawl ball and maybe some heist maps if you run a good comp with them. Uh, speaking of comps, the best comps to run with them, uh, or best brawlers rather, um, I would run a max for sure. Uh, because you, you see a bit with his turret, he's so dominant because he has a lot of speed. So max being able to give him that constant speed. Uh, in addition to her being the best in the meadow right now, uh, she's just a really good pick with 8-bit, so I would run her. And uh, I would also run maybe a thrower, or maybe a spike, or uh, something along those lines, depending on the mode you're playing. Uh, if it's a uh, heist, maybe a colt that can break walls, maybe a bull. Uh, you know, sometimes in front of the safes, there's walls that keeps 8-bit from hitting the save. But if he has his turret up with the extra damage going for the freaking ice safe, that's crazy damage. So, uh, yeah, you just want to play around with the comp that you have with the best brawlies in the game right now. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of youtubers uh, say which uh, which brawlers are the best So I don't think I have to go over that but either way uh, it all depends on the game mode So just pick carefully So next uh, for 8-bit you want to run the second star power uh, Because it just gives him a movement speed and as I said earlier movement speed is everything for 8-bit uh, He's too slow without the turret which makes, it makes him hard to use But he can really fare up well versus a lot of brawlers once he has that turret Compared with the gadget too, which I'm going to talk about very soon, um, it's just it's just better to run the speed because the the extra range for the damage, like most of the time, your 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 teammates, like sure they'll benefit from it, but if you if you're just trying to push up and like your teammates are dead and stuff like that, and then the extra range for the turret won't matter. So that's why I say that the second one is better. Uh, plus it makes him more versatile uh, in general so uh, For brawlers that 8-bit counters he counters tanks he counters brawlers that have low range uh, Low movement speed that can that can't catch up to you eventually because like you just put out so much damage uh, So let's say that you counter sandy uh, you counter all the tanks you counter uh, semi counter uh, BB uh, unless she gets a pushback on you then like you're gonna get wrecked uh, you counter Mortis, uh, Mortis cannot like kill you in 4 shots or 3, so anyway. So you want to stay away from throwers though, because throwers do counter 8-bit a lot without his turret. Uh, it's just very hard for 8-bit to deal with those, because they could just kill your turret uh, without being damaged from you. Uh, they can also just shoot at you when you have low movement speed and you can't really dodge them So stay away from throwers, but go for tanks and low um, low range brawlers uh, So now for his gadget uh, the teleportation which is indeed so important for 8-bit because uh, just like in that scenario um, You could use it to get back to a place really fast to try and surprise an opponent uh, that might be killing your gem carrier or uh, it, like you, they're gonna try and kill your turret you just gadget on the turret and then kill them or protect someone just like what I'm doing right now in this gameplay uh, it's just so clutch to have that gadget it's so important uh, or you can also use it to get out of a scenario if you're like really close to being dead or um, if you want to get out with some gems or uh, if you have a bad matchup and you want to switch lanes it's so important so just be passive with the gadget as well. Don't use it right off the bat because like I said, it could be the difference maker between you getting out of life with gems if you're in gem grab or like you having all the control and you having not 
You can also use your turret to body block if you're really low on HP and just use your range to your advantage when you're facing the brawlers that you can really counter. That's the best way that you're gonna get kills. So either way, that was pretty much all the tips I had for you guys. I really hope that you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did, then please leave a like, share this around. Look out for a, really, uh, for a video coming out very soon to celebrate this, this milestone. Uh, and that's gonna be it for me, so I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.